Did you ever wonder if the sun has any effects on objects in our galaxy? The sun has been a very influential part of our life on Earth for a long time. The sun controls weather, ocean currents, seasons, and climate. It also makes plant life possible through photosynthesis. Although the sun may have an effect on the Earth, it also has an effect on asteroids. Asteroids are small rocky objects that orbit the sun. Although they orbit the sun, similar to planets, asteroids are much smaller than planets. Asteroids are found usually in the main asteroid belt, also known as the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt is roughly located between Mars and Jupiter. Asteroids in the Kuiper Belt have orbits around the Sun that aren't easily altered or changed. The largest object in this orbit is given the name Ceres. Ceres used to be called an asteroid but is now classified as dwarf planet because of its size and spherical shape. Ceres is the only dwarf planet in the inner solar system. Asteroids are actually tiny objects on the scale of our solar system. If an asteroid is big enough and passes close enough, the steep fall into the sun's gravity would accelerate it to more than 600 kilometers per second. Asteroids have never been observed to hit the sun, however that doesn't mean they won't. Asteroids tend to stay in orbit and it is really rare for an asteroid to hit the sun. The reason it's rare for asteroids to fall or crash into the sun is because it is difficult for something that is orbiting to fall all the way into the sun. This is caused by a property of orbiting objects. This property is called angular momentum. Angular momentum is a method of measuring how much something is rotating around a central point. The reason that this is important is that one of the fundamental principles of physics is that angular momentum must be conserved. For something to fall into the sun, it has to lose nearly all of its angular momentum somehow so that it is falling straight towards the sun. If the asteroid is off just slightly, instead of falling in, the asteroid will just fall very close and then slingshot back out far from the sun. It is quite rare for an asteroid to lose all of its angular momentum and fall straight into the sun. However, there might be a few that lose enough to get close to the sun and vaporize. But even if the asteroid was bigger than usual and hit the sun, nothing would really happen. The size and heat of the sun are to such extent that even the largest object in the solar system, Jupiter, hitting the sun would just cause a momentary hiccup. This is important to know as we learn more about the sun in space. Therefore, asteroids seem to have little impact on the sun.